as of yesterday, I had decided not to make a video of the removal of this 12 and a half inch oak. I had uh, decided that rather than messing around with all the work of cutting the roots out, I was going to just fell it and leave a shallow stump. Part of the reason was I just didn't want to do the work and I had to take into consideration the time of year. It's a couple of degrees above freezing today and I just got to thinking, can I do it in a relatively short period of time? Right now it's about two o'clock in the afternoon and I'm gonna be facing sunset in about uh, two hours. So trying to take this down within that uh, period of time is going to be a bit of a race. Several years back I had a viral attack that pretty much nailed my heart. My ejection factor got down to the 15 to 10 percent range. Um, I was in the lucky third that uh, I've actually seen an improvement. It's now back up into the 30 to 35 percent ejection range which is actually about half of what a normal person has. So a big part of that uh, effort will be working against those limitations. But I really wanted to see what I could do uh, if I worked fast and uh, didn't try to take any of the normal precautions I take to protect my tools. As I said, uh, this is about a 12 and a half inch uh, northern red oak. And it does have uh, quite a few uh, substantial roots that are going to be hard to get through. So let's get started. A correction on the time, it's actually 1.35 right now. This tree actually has a significant lean to the south, so a lot of its support branches are growing on the north to resist that lean. <coughs> I've mobilized all three of my double bit axes. Unfortunately, there's only one of me to operate them. I've also got all three of my cable winches. So I'm going to cut these just pretty much single cuts and then see if I can pull the tree that direction to leverage the rest of the roots. <clears throat>
Okay, that one's through. Break time. You can see the roots on this side are pretty much a mass. There's this one coming down, that one coming down. On the other side of this, there's one and two going out. So over here, I'm gonna have to come up all the way to here to get this out so I can get that root and those two. This one, I'll come up a little higher to get that one. Then we'll move over here to this side and then we'll use the cable winches to see if we can pry it out and expose any of the stuff that's underneath. Heartbreak. Round three. Okay, break. Okay, in round four, we're gonna take this clump out. This root's already severed. Taking that clump out, we'll sever this and this other branch that goes off that way. If I have enough steam, we'll sever this one and then later move on to these on the other side. Then we'll finally get to the cable winching.
Okay, that's true. Break. And going through the roots, you can tell the edge contacted some rocks under the roots. So I'm going to swap to a fresh axe. For round five, the sun has made a poorly timed appearance. So all of my work is going to be in the shade. I have to cut these four roots. I'll do these two in the first phase. There's probably another root underneath them, but I'm not going to tackle that. Once I get through these four, I'm going to go with the cable winches and see if I've removed enough so that the leverage will pull that remaining root and this one that's also part of this group up. And we'll put at least two cable winches on that, third one if necessary. Okay, that one's through. <clears throat> wow, bad hit. Okay, that one's through. In round six, the fresh edge didn't suffer too much, so we're going to continue using the same edge going through these uh, next couple of branches, and then we'll uh, switch to the cable winch. Ah, that was... That's a rock. Darn. Hard to avoid. That's a rock. That's a rock. Okay. We'll touch this one a little bit. And that's a rock. So a lot of rocks under that. That axe is done. For round seven, I've attached a strong chain up to the highest point I can reach on the tree and run it back to a pine tree there with one cable winch on it and another pine tree there with a smaller cable winch on it. And I'm just going to proceed with the fairly easy work of just cranking those to see if I can leverage the remaining roots up out of the ground.
while I take my break, I should mention that this tree is going to get caught by the pine tree up top. So, 45 degrees will be about the best that I can do for the first pull. Round eight. Okay, we'll call that round eight. The leverage has pulled up a lot of the hidden roots on this side. I said this was the first pull. The second pull is going to be perpendicular, that direction. Part of that is because we're now hung up in the top of this pine tree. But the other part is that by pulling that way, We'll overstress the roots on that side and get them to pull out. So it'll concentrate all of the moment on those. And we should be able to pull that over probably by round 12. Okay, I've reoriented the chain and the table winches so that I'm pulling to the right. And I'm going to start out trying to use just a single come along, and we'll see if that works. Otherwise, I'll switch to two. I'll go fast through this because it's uh, going to be kind of boring.
Okay, round 10. Okay, the rest of the tree is hung up in uh, some other trees. So I'm gonna call this done. The rest of the work is chainsaw work, then probably pulling it back that direction to get the roots over here. Total elapsed time is an hour and a half. Figuring in break time, uh, not bad. Have a good day.